Hi there and uh, welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see an example of a working methodology when we deal with uh, social media optimization. Um, the thing is that within the course, I'm giving you uh, an example of a working methodology that you can find over here. Uh, however, I'm not um, making it specific for a given acquisition channel. So that's why I wanted to do it here. Um, so you will see the category are kind of the same it's just that i'm giving a straight example about how it will be adapted to a social media uh, optimization strategy and in addition to that of course you will have an additional uh, category so first of all uh, set uh, your goals okay for your working methodology so typically if you deal with social media optimization it will be about of course what do you expect to do on social network what kind of thing do you wish to publish but uh, what are your expectations in terms of, uh, let's say, figures, okay? How many uh, likes or shares do you plan? How big should be your uh, community at the end of the year, for example, or at the end of the month or at the end of the week? I mean, you have to think in terms of, of figures, what you expect. Do you expect to make sales thanks to uh, your uh, social media posts? So this is what you need to, to set over here within the goal uh, part and where you say okay I expect to get at least 10 cells uh, per week and define as well what you will consider as a failure and what you will consider as uh, a success typically if I take my uh, my master do account over here I know that this is uh, far from being a success because I didn't define any plan here and as a result as you can see the number of my follower is not growing up and the reason is that uh, probably I'm not uh, doing the right thing here. So I should reconsider my working methodology in order to say, okay, I'm not just here in order to publish some post. I need to interact with at least those followers in order to start bringing a community, make some uh, noise in order to get bigger and bigger. Um, next is the audience. So you need to define who you would like uh, to target. Uh, this is really important for social network because according to your audience, you will communicate in a different way that if you were communicating to another audience. So for example, let's imagine that um, you are going to talk to uh, young people, then of course uh, your posts uh, need to not to be too much academic, let's say and you need to use uh, the same way they speak and you need of course to publish content that they will have an interest uh, to follow and to share. Uh, in terms of design, you have to think that if you go for social media optimization, you will have a bit of design to do such as, okay, now what is going to be the cover that you're going to add? Uh, what are the colors that you would like to add to the background of each social network that you will use? And you will need of course those design to be consistent. If you are sending promotional offer, probably you will need to think about changing your cover and at which frequency and who's going to do that. Uh, are you going to pay someone in order to do it? And so on and so forth. Um, think as well in terms of uh, categories. If you have a big organization, for example, are you going to create one account per organization or are you going to just create one single account for all the organization? Will you allow your employees or the people working with you to have also an account or will they use uh, the same account? And if they use the same account, what are the security policies that you're going to implement within your organization? About the content um, that you're going to publish, the post types, you need as well within your strategy to define the type of post that you're going to publish. Okay. Is it going to be only commercial? Is it going to be just institutional information? Is it going to be personal point of view? I mean, you need to explain uh, how you're going to communicate. And I think the best thing that you can do here is to give a straight example of uh, what you would like to post and as well, what you would like to not post. Okay. Like this, people will clearly identify within your company. What is your strategy that you would like to go for? Um, next category that we have here is the post management. So who is going to post, who is going to publish and do you have actually an order? Do you have someone who is here in order to check what the posts are going to be? Uh, this is really important for online reputation. If uh, you are scared about every post that you're going to send and you wish uh, your boss to have a look at it. Okay. So you need to consider this and in how much time he or she is going to reconsider your post in order for your uh, post to not be obsolete. 
So that's what you need to, to think about. Uh, so as the security system mm -hmm. that you will uh, need to implement and will the social network allow such a uh, security system. Um, mm -hmm. Authorization is a bit uh, the, the same thing. It's a lot about security here. Uh, it's uh, about, for example, let's imagine that uh, you're going to share um, the account, okay? Mm -hmm. And as a result, the credential of this given social network account is going to stay within one device and the device used by your employees or your boss is a subject to be the same device that they come at home with or will be their personal device. Uh, so you have to think as well in terms of uh, security, mm -hmm. but who has an access uh, to this given device and who potentially could publish uh, something where it's actually it should not be published. Mm -hmm. Um, time to market is about when do you plan your communication to be published and that's really important because uh, you need to clearly know when your audience expect your post to be published and as well you need to take care about your employees. For example, let's imagine that you're going to dedicate one human resource to deal with community management, to deal with a social network in your company well, uh, when it's after 5 p.m. or when it's during the weekend or by night where there is a crisis, um, do they have the right to answer? And uh, did you sign something up within the contract in order to allow them to do so? And do you give the money back or at least uh, do you, let's say, reward them for all the time that they are going to spend out of uh, the, let's say, regular uh, working time hours? Um, content example is closely linked to what I showed before, so it's about giving example of what you plan to publish. Uh, just to let you know about search engine optimization, all social networks, or at least mostly all, have a search engine. As a result, the way you write your post, or at least the way um, you are using some words and tags within those posts is very important, so you have to have a bit knowledge about SEO and let's say a lot of knowledge about SEO dealing with the social network platform that you are using in order to know how you need to format the different posts when you are going to publish them. Um, then as well, you need to know a little bit about uh, law. So what are you allowed to uh, publish? Uh, which uh, contents are under uh, copyright? And in order to avoid uh, your company to publish contents or media that they are not allowed to publish. So if you have a doubt about a given post that you're going to publish, always ask yourself if you have the right uh, to do it. Then define, uh, for example, here a share uh, policy. So for example, you are a community manager and uh, you are used uh, during your uh, personal time to share uh, any post. Uh, on social network, well, it may be different when you are in your, in your organization. Let's imagine, for example, that you are sharing uh, a post which have been published by your politics. Well, uh, it may mean that uh, your organization is somehow affiliated to this uh, politic party, or at least this is how uh, the, the public, the audience will identify it. So um, the better you define what's going to be your share policy and under which condition, then the less chances uh, you will have issues within uh, your organization. Um, then, uh, of course, as uh, you will be uh, in charge uh, maybe of social uh, networks, people will ask you about the return on investment. So you need to think about how you're going to show your results, how you're going to show the evolution of uh, the different results you got out of social networks. So this is where you will need to dig within the API of each social network, so at least see through the UI, what are the different uh, data reports that they can provide you and make it um, clear with uh, your stakeholder within your organization that the results uh, will be shown this way and that the authority in order to validate those results is the one of the platform that you choose or that your stakeholder uh, choose. Then uh, always take action. So for example, let's imagine that something works very well based on the strategy that you implemented, then ask yourself, how could you do another one? Or if the results are going very bad, such as in my case, well, what is the decision that you're going to take in order to make uh, your community grow? 
Um, next is about uh, the different tools that you will use in order to check that uh, your work has been uh, properly done. So let's imagine this is a checklist for a Mastodon, for example. Let's imagine that you are communicating on, on Mastodon. Ask yourself the following question, okay? Am I sending the tweet uh, to the right audience online? Um, do I use the right convention, such as the hashtag, such as the at? Um, Am I including the right person uh, within the message? Am I using the maximum space in order to communicate? Did I include a picture or video because people tend to click more when uh, there is a picture or video? Did I, explain, did I explain clearly what my message is about? Um, is there any typos within it? And do I um, check them? Uh, did my boss say, yes, you can go, you can publish that? Uh, do you think that your message could have a negative impact? And uh, is there something to get out of your message for your audience? Um, and also another point that you can consider is as well the different tools that you can use in order to manage social networks and in order to be able uh, to be even more productive. So the idea is, for example, uh, to send on different platform um, the same message or to plan your messages to go at a specific um, time. Um, then about uh, next topic is about inside your organization. Do people know within your organization that you're going to use social network? Do they know what is your strategy? Um, do they already created some account here and there as the official one? Uh, do you need to communicate with them in order to say, okay, you need to communicate on the official social network and here it is. So you will have to close down your existing uh, social network account. Um, Ask also to those people who would like to communicate with you if they are allowed to communicate with their personal name or should they take the one of the company or a fake name uh, beyond of the company. Define as well uh, your budget because even if it's not about online advertising, so it could be about online advertising, but most of the time if you start with social media optimization, you start without um, online advertising just by putting a two uh, into the water and see it's gonna work um, so here you need to define who is going to take care of the social network how much time he or she is going to spend on it am i going to offer him or her uh, the tablet and the mobile device in order to communicate or she or he will have uh, to use his personal device and what's going to happen if this person is going to leave the company and as well uh, for a social media optimization strategy you need to think about the network okay um, are you going to start from scratch or are you going to acquire an existing account? Or are you going to add all the contacts that you have within your CRM and so on and so forth? So as you can see here, just for a basic working methodology dealing with a social media optimization strategy, you have many points that you need to consider before starting uh, to publish your first post. So that was just a simple example to show you that when you go for an online acquisition channel, there are many questions uh, that you need to ask yourself. And this uh, video was about the example of a social media optimization strategy. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.